started playing piano when I was around five or six. Before I play, when I'm doing a major performance, I'll always just talk to God and make sure that I'm performing for God. When I talk to God, it really calms my nerves. Since I was born and raised and my parents took me to church and we built our lives on Christian beliefs, I always tried to follow them, but I didn't have the emotional connection. You follow all the rules, but you aren't able to get your heart to open up. You just go to church and then you stand there and you worship, but there's no real meaning. Josiah is a really fun boy. He has uh, a lot of creativity. I think as a young kid, he's very keen about uh, knowing God. He always longed for that, that feeling of connecting with God, like making sure that he's walking right with God. The Lord is the everlasting God, the creator of the ends of the earth. He will not go tired or weary, and his understanding... I was in a ski club in sixth grade when I was 11. I was really having a lot of fun. I picked up skiing quickly and I thought that everything was going great. But after a bad run and a ski accident, I ended up in the hospital. We really don't know what exactly happened to him, but as he was coming down the ski slopes, he was just knocked by somebody and laying there. It was really hard to see him lying in a pool of blood. And I held his hand, I said, it's okay, mom is here. And then he said, am I going to die? I got a call telling me that something has happened to Josiah. So I rushed to the hospital and the, and the first thing that he said to me was, I'm sorry, dad. He was remorseful for being in, involved in an accident. You know, uh, that wasn't even his fault. I was wondering why, why did it happen? I, I tried to follow the rules. Why would it happen to me? And I said, that's okay. Everything is going to be fine. And that God is with us and God is with you and He's going to heal you. So holding his hand and seeing the doctor just stitching up his face almost torn apart, it, it was heart-wrenching. Yeah, it was very difficult. It was a time of testing Josiah's dependence upon God. I really, really had to trust in him when I was doing all these MRI scans and all these stitches and surgeries. We still didn't know whether he was going to be fully recover from concussion and his double vision. It was really scary, but I just knew that I had someone supporting me and whatever happened would be part of a better outcome. Well, as we are about to start the baptism service here, I just want to talk about... Even before the ski accident, I have wanted to get baptized, but I always felt that I wasn't ready in some way or that I wasn't good enough to be able to qualify to get baptized. But after the ski accident, I realized that I needed God and I loved Him. He loves me, and that was good enough. We wanted to have our family members uh, participate in Josiah's baptism. And so we decided to do a Zoom call for the baptism. A year after my ski accident, I was ready to take that leap of faith and to show that I'm a Christian and I'm for God. As I got into the water, I was just standing face to face with the pastor and I was ready. It was my moment. I was ready to change. My mom was in the water with me and the moment I got out of the water, I just hugged her and it was, it was a great moment. It felt like I was doing it with her and that I was growing alongside her. Baptism is a statement of obedience before the Lord. It is not something that is pushed on us, but it's a decision that we make that, that tells 
ourselves and people around us that we are on God's side. We are no longer of the world, but we are on God's side. All you have to know is that you're doing this for God and for yourself and not for anyone else, and that you are ready to declare, I'm saved, I'm his.